Hey, it's Katie from Get Fit Katie on Instagram, and I kind of want to just take a minute and give you my story kind of in a nutshell of how I started my weight loss journey. I, um, let's see, where to begin? I was really active and skinny when I was younger. Um, like as a kid, I grew up playing tennis and I grew up um, always outside, running around, so I was skinny, never really had any. Um, weight problems. I, through high school, I was skinny. Um, I did have some, like, um, some irregular periods or whatever. Like, I only was having about one a year, so I wasn't really sure what that was. Um, and my doctors always said, oh, it's just because you're active. It's no big deal. Um, you, you know, you'll grow out of it, yada, yada, yada. And so, when I got married, um, about a year after I got married, my husband and I decided we were going to try and start having a family. So I went to my gynecologist because I knew I was having problems with my period and was diagnosed with PCOS or polycystic ovarian syndrome and um, started on medicines for that. And that's really kind of where I started seeing my weight gain. I gained probably 20 pounds just in like six or eight months from the medicines and from eating crappy. Um, so I went back and we went and saw an RE and then, you know, we're transferred to kind of like an infertility specialist and started all these medicines for, a, we were on infertility drugs for probably about three years. And I will say that those drugs and depression from not getting pregnant definitely were triggers for my weight gain. Um, I, because unfortunately I'm not one of those people who don't eat when they're upset. I'm an eater. So that was definitely a trigger for me. Um, and we just ate crappy. We just went out all the time. We, um, I just tried to make myself feel better with food, which is awful and horrible um, and totally the wrong thing to do. But I ended up, because we've been trying for about, well, six years now, so, and I've gained 80 pounds. I gained 80 pounds through all that. Um, and I was miserable. I was unhappy. I was super unhealthy. I was just, I couldn't look at myself in the mirror. There were days I didn't want to get out of bed. I was just depressed. I was, it was awful. I hated myself. Um, and then uh, one of my good friends who does CrossFit was like, you've got to come try this. And my boss did CrossFit. And I was like, y'all, I'm 220 pounds. Like, there's no way I'll survive CrossFit. There's no way. And, I, but I went and everyone, they were so supportive and so encouraging. And, um, I mean, everything I did had to be modified. Sit-ups had to be modified. Everything, everything, everything. But I loved it. And, um, I loved all the encouragement I got from it. So I joined and did that for about six months and I lost like 15 pounds, which was good. Um, and you all know with PCOS, losing weight is incredibly hard. Um, but then my husband and I decided we were going to adopt. So we kind of took a break from CrossFit because I wanted to focus on everything that comes along with adoption. And then, um, again, I just fell back into bad eating habits and just fell back into not caring about myself. Um, so gained some more weight and, um, and I just became unhappy and miserable again. And I just, one day I decided I cannot do this anymore. I, if we're going to adopt and we're going to start a family, I want to be a healthy mom. I want to be a strong mom. I want to be an inspiration. And um, so I rejoined CrossFit and started eating super strict paleo. And that was the best decision for me. I've been doing it for about 11 months now. And um, I, I couldn't be happier. I'm so happy. I, um, not only am I losing weight, I've lost about 45 pounds and I'm down about five pant sizes now. Uh, but not only am I losing weight, I, my mood is not change. My mood's changed incredibly. A lot of my PCOS symptoms are diminishing, like the acne, um, the facial hairs I get. Uh, my periods are changing crazy. I went from like having one a year to I've had about five in a row. I don't even know what to do with all that. Um, but it's so cool to see like your body's changing from the inside out. And that's what I want. That was my goal. And um, it's so neat to see like all um, the girls on Instagram and stuff who say that I'm an inspiration to them. It's very humbling um, when 
they they are an inspiration to me. That's where I find my accountability. That's where I find my inspiration. That's what keeps me going. It's literally one day at a time. And I love it. I can't wait for more. And I can't wait to see what God has in store for my life. So thanks so much for watching.